a lot of crypto ads during the Super Bowl last night. So if that caught your interest, or if you've been in the crypto game for a while now, you might want to see this next report. It's the latest in a series of CNBC investigations into scams targeting crypto. And this one starts with just a phone call. Here's CNBC's Eamon Javers. Dr. Anders Apgar and his wife were out to dinner in January with their children, and his phone just wouldn't stop buzzing. The voice message was alarming. Hello. Welcome to Coinbase Security Prevention Line. We have detected unauthorized activity. That caught his attention since he and his wife, who are both obstetricians, had more than $100,000 in Bitcoin invested through Coinbase, the country's largest crypto platform. Apgar had a bad feeling as soon as he answered. Something in the back of your head said didn't quite feel right. Correct. And, and it but didn't it was feel just perfect. convincing enough. For an instant, he was convinced it was real. We have detected unauthorized activity due failed login attempt in your account. This was requested from an Canada IP address. If this not you, please press one. That says to secure your account, hit one. Yep. So I hit one. Yep. And as I hit one, the two factor authentication came through and I saw a text come through. And this is where honestly it gets hazy, almost like when people say they were in a car accident and I can't remember the details of what happened. And I looked at my wife and I said, something is wrong. And I said, let's try and get into it. I said, let's, let's get to the account. And so when we opened the Coinbase app, we could no longer get into the account. How long was it from the time that uh, two-factor authentication came in to the time that you checked the account? Maybe less than two. Less than two minutes. Yeah. So you tap something on your phone and two minutes later, you're, you're out of your account. Gone. And the Absolutely. money was gone. Absolutely gone. I have no idea at this point. The access to the money was gone. The account was completely locked. The culprit was apparently part of an increasing trend. A one-time password bot programmed to trick you into thinking your account's getting hacked, but in reality, it's stealing your two-factor or 2FA authentication code. Jessica Kelly is an analyst at cybersecurity firm Q6, which is a CNBC contributor, and authored a report about how these bots work. That information gets sent to the bot, which then automatically sends it to the cyber criminal, which then has access to the victim's account, which is the exact opposite of what the victim thinks in that moment. Fraudsters openly sell the bots on Telegram, targeting not only Coinbase, but also other platforms, banks, social media accounts, anywhere you use two-factor authentication. Are you calling Coinbase? Is this show not going to help you today? Sometimes the calls aren't bots, they're real people. On this call is someone impersonating a Coinbase employee. On the other end of the line is Coinbase customer David Silver. Immediately it was an electronic voice that told me it was Coinbase uh, fraud department. And I immediately turned to the lawyer sitting next to me and said, start videoing. I knew instantaneously what this was and what it was going to be. They called the wrong guy. Silver is not only a Coinbase customer, but an attorney who happens to specialize in cryptocurrency fraud. You are not going to give any access to, to any individual or human being, okay? You are going to get connected with our server. Silver was astounded at how much information the fraudster already had. They had a phone number for me to call back on. The second thing they said to me was, we can't send you an email because your personal email is already compromised, which obviously I knew was not true. After nearly seven minutes, great, thank you very much. Silver ended the call. That's what Anders Apgar wishes he had done, just hang up. Instead, he says, the ordeal was like watching a theft in progress. It would be as though we had cameras at the house and we couldn't go home and we could watch people just taking stuff out of our house. Coinbase tells us it never makes unsolicited calls to its customers and cautions against disclosing personal information to anyone over the phone before you check it out. As far as Dr. Apgar, he says he still can't get back into his account because the fraudsters changed his email address. Coinbase tells us it's turned over the matter to its security team, which is working to restore his access. Shep. Incredible. Eamon Javers, thank you.